So into March and Rovers fans get the first look at the new pitch. The three return games of the Northern Rail Cup group are played at Craven Park and in the Challenge Cup the visitors are amateur side, York Acorn. Hello Rovers fans and welcome to the opening home game of this 2006 season. Today's opposition Featherston Rovers in the defence of the Northern Rail Cup and the first look for the Robins faithful at the new £200,000 pitch improvements which uh, looks from this vantage point absolutely fantastic pitch has been widened, it's been lengthened Rovers started the season with three away wins on the bounce against Featherston, York and Sheffield Eagles here's Webster, there's an overlap here there's a chance now, Leroy Rivet sends in yes that's a try for John Goddard well, what Rovers did was basically just move the ball from one way, from the right to the left. The man overlap appeared and uh, sensible rugby league by Leroy Rivet just drew the man, passed the ball out and got hard with a simple try. In the last 10 minutes, he swung out now to Webster, switches the play again to Scott Morell, great step. He's just held up again. Michael Smith not the play of the ball, not not uh, the person you'd normally see and that's why but he's giving it out and it's a try Damien Gautier great great ball out there Michael Smith switching it out wide and it was a great ball out and Gautier goes, on, goes in and it's now 8 points to 2 to Rovers with a kick to come so it's going to be Andy Ellis Ellis restarts the attack Gareth Morton that looks high on Morton Here's Webster, Webster, misses the man out, gives it to Morell, chance now, oh there's an interception, it's by Wayne McHugh, Webster's after him, Desi Williams is after him, oh great tackle by James Webster, what superb defence by the Rovers scrum half, but Featherston still with a chance now, oh Rovers only three or four metres out, Joseph, misses out the man, gives it to Morell, Morell brings in this, Dwayne Barker back off Wards and that's a try! And it's the second try to Damon Couture here. Thirty-four minutes on the clock here at Craven Park and Rovers with the third try of the game. Fallon, Fallon directs, takes the tackle. Joseph once again is buzzing about, oof, Dwayne Barker did well to take that and Dwayne Barker goes through a gap and feeds Morell and there's a chance now and Katori here scores his hat-trick in the first half great support play by the French international great break by the Robins and the Frenchman finishes it off and goes in for his third try, Rovers extend the lead to 20 points to 2 and that was a great rugby league try right underneath the posts game over there's that man John Fallon showed up well in the minutes he's been on the field there's a chance now there's gaps out wide Leroy Rivet misses the man out Williams it's a try on his debut for Desai Williams and it was a superb ball by Leroy Rivet the East End have seen something in the tackle and Scott Morell just a little punt forward it's a good kick, it's touch, it's in goal and oh good defence, Gareth Morton. Great chase and great tackle. And once again, oh he sticks it one on one! Gareth Morton, one on one! Steals the ball and goes underneath the sticks. Well, superb try, try from nothing. You could see it all the way. As Morton went to tackle him, I shouted out, he might pinch it. And by the time I finished, he had done simple under the sticks. It'll be a six point try for Morton. It's a good little burst there by Tommy Gallagher, and he offloads. And Ellis keeps the move alive. So Rovers now in the shape of Damien Couturier. Couturier, well, he's looking to get away. He's got men on his inside. James Webster! Webster's got 20 yards to go! Webster scores to the right hand side of the post! And once again it's a big involvement from the Frenchman, Damien Couturier! 
He's certainly pushing his claim for a regular starting place. He's certainly uh, a contender for man of the match in this game. And James Webster goes in for the Robins' seventh try of the game. Here's Damien Couturier. Brings in Webster. Webster to Joseph. Joseph takes the ball forward by about four metres. So Rovers now are in the danger zone. Andy Ellis, well, there's men out wide here. Tanga Tatoa. Tanga Tatoa's going. Oh! What strength by Tanga Tatoa! Well, it looks certain that he was going to be brought down. He had about two or three men clinging on to him, but he just forced his way over. And it's a superb try by David Tanga Tatoa. Takes Rovers over the 40 point mark. I will, I will say that Morton has had a good game, especially first. Half first hour, uh, he has been off a lot. Scott Morell, it's a great dummy, he's going all the way! Scott Morell, it's a great play! And he will stop him! Scott Morell with a great dummy! And he's going to die for about 10 metres in the air! What a try, he enjoyed that one! And that's one for the East Stand fans throughout, as they, as they filter out. What a dummy by Morell! He's gone down the outside, and he really enjoyed that one. Well, we all said it. What, what the Robins got in the locker now. Scott Morell in field to Neverton. Neverton driving those legs. It's the fifth and last against the Robins. Oh, Fisher's got one here. Yes. Unfortunately for your Kirkhorn, the, uh, the defensive line just stepped up on Ben Fisher. Well, we saw him do that in an Halifax shirt last season against us. He's absolutely deadly from that area. When he gets the opening try of the game, and as I said, I knew we'd score in that set of six. And Rovers looking to really assert their authority now. Fisher once again darts off his looking dangerous is Fisher in this game. Webster short passes. Oh, Leroy's joined the line. Leroy's going for the line, and Leroy Rivet scores. Well, two tries in two minutes for the Robins, and that just shows the. Uh, the golfing class and what York Air Corner up against today. Just noticeable that York are um, a little bit slower now to get back the 10. Oh, that's a good offload by Tangatatoa to Morton, and Morton's also trying to get that ball away, but fifth and last against the Robin. Brings it Morel now. He switches it out wide. Goddard could be a try. Great step from Goddard. He's looking, he's over. He has got it down. Brilliant step there from Goddard. Morelli thought I was going to give it to Neverton for second time lucky, but he missed him out with a great long ball. And Goddard jinked one way, then the other, and he's just, just got the ball down on the line. Great try from Goddard. Looks like Leroy Rivette's going to be receiving it. And he'll be going on another darting run, which led to uh, Robin's second try. And he does give it out to Rivette. He's going himself, and he's still going. He, oh, he just gets held up two, oh, two inches short of the line in the end. Rovers now look to switch the ball left once more. It's a poor pass. Gallagher takes it well. He's in. He's in under the bus. Tommy Gallagher. And really now the defence is starting to weaken now. It's a poor ball, but Gallagher picked it up well. And all he had to do was really move one side to enter the other. And, he, and the York defence now is really tiring, but that can be expected really when they're just part-timers against full-timers. Three men bring McCarley down. It's always a big roar from the crowd when McCarley receives the ball. Webster juggles with that one. There's a chance now. Goddard, he's got Williams with him. And here's Desai Williams. He's going for that line. Oh, it's a good tackle, but he's still going, is Williams. He's still going. He's still going. Well, great run by Desai Williams. And Rovers are on the fifth and last. Fisher to Webster. Webster to Neverson. Neverson to Goddard. And Goddard scores a try in the corner. Superb try by John Goddard, his second of the day. And well, Desai Williams did exceptionally well. The fullback's injured. I think that was as a result of tackling Desai Williams, but the net result is Rovers score the fifth try of the game. Yeah, that's possibly why we're not kicking into touch. And there's a knock on straight to Michael Smith. He won't go all the way, but he'll go so far. Smith keeps going. And he keeps going. He's got the ball out. Fisher. 
Fisher's held up, 25 metres out. Joseph now. Joseph looks to give it inside. No, he dummies. Gives it outside. outside. Got Goddard looking for the hat trick. But he's well tackled. Joseph again. Well, he gives it to Desire Williams here. He's almost one on one. But he, he fakes and he's going himself. It's a poor move there, but he needs to just look at the space out on the right hand side now. About eight men on three. With Webster now. He must be in here. Rivet, Rivet bounces off the tackle. Leroy Rivet goes himself and he's in in the far corner. Leroy Rivet put up a body strength then to bounce off the tackle. Goes over in the far corner. And it'll be another tough kick for Morton. Maybe he wants a bit of practice. But uh, York Akon, the dropping leg flies at the moment. And there by, passed by McCarley as a superb offload and Scott Morell read it to perfection he backs him up he, he, when you've got these big guys who can punch shoulders you've got to stay on the shoulders and that's what happened on that occasion here is that man Morell short ball to Michael Smith and Smith oh he just reaches out and scores when has just used his power used his size in Michael Smith so Michael Smith increases the Robins lead and that try basically came about from the uh, the superb pass from Macaulay as well. So Rovers now looking again. Michael Smith. You get the excitement when he's on the ball. But of, uh, York have uh, held him up well that time. Hooker Lee Frank bringing him down. It's Joseph now. Comes in, escapes the first tackle. And he's still going, Joseph. Great play. What a ball. Courtier joining the line from the fullback. Just, just scrambles. Across to York, bring him down. Webster now. He's got McCarley running forward. He's missed him out. Morell, if he gets it out, Morton now. Morton steps. Morton might go alone. It's Morton. He's got it down. The referee steps back and he's given it. And Callahan, Callahan's not happy at all. Well, by the look at the York players, they thought he'd held up short then, but Morton, Morton got straight up and put his arm in the air. And it's uh, 40 points on the board now. Fisher again. Brings in Smith this time. Smith, great ball. Morell, he's clear. Morell's looking for support. Goes inside. Gives it to Fisher. Fisher. Oh, it's a great tackle though. The winger. John Waldron gets back well there. But Rovers, surely if they switch the ball out wide here, they'll be in. Webster, great ball. Morton, he's got steel with support. Morton might go himself. He goes, he is, he's in. Morton's in again. Morton's in for his second in the afternoon and his second in two minutes. Yeah, Tangata Toro returns from McCarley. And it's Webster who gives it out wide to Goddard. Looking for support. He takes the tackle this time. Maybe conscious of the last couple of passes out wide. Which uh, didn't really give Williams much chance. Webster goes blindside, gives it to Williams. He jinks inside. Desire Williams! He's just, he's held short. Morell <laughs> brings in Smith. Michael Smith's over the line again. He's got it, that's the 50. Well, Smith's absolutely tearing them to pieces at the moment. Everton gets a round of applause as he leaves the playing field. Good fortune meets the best by John Steele. Here's the man of the match, Smith. Oh, there's got to get it wide here, Fraser. It'll be in. Francis, well, 14's price. Offload. And it's going to be the hat trick for John Goddard. And Goddard's going to go in underneath the posts. And Rovers do send the fans home with one last try. And it's a good try as far as John Goddard's concerned. Goddard gives it to Williams. Morell looking for support. Brings in Smith. Oh. He gives it Martin for the hat-trick. Gareth Morton. He gets the second hat-trick of the day. And what he thinks whatever Goddard can do, he can do. And the Morton fan club will be loving that one. <laughs> and right on the hooter as well. Seven metres out, Webster to Morell. Morell feeds Gallagher. Gallagher short ball to Morton. Morton spins in the tackle. 
big bigot from Jeremy Borville. Morton plays the ball. Fisher to Morell. Morell to Webster's. There's a chance now as Leroy Rivet feeds Byron Ford and Byron Ford's in at the corner. And that try is going to be given. And on about seven minutes of play, Rovers with the first try of the game. Steal from the basin, and that was round his neck from Scott Rhodes. And the referee's just missing one or two high shots from your own. Gareth Morton's gone down in a heap. He's fell awkwardly. He looks to be in a lot of pain, does Gareth Morton. He just uh, seemed to twist as he went into the tackle. And it looks as though it's game over for Gareth Morton. Yeah, he looks to be in agony. York unable to cross the halfway line. Hasty with a kick. It's going to be John Steele underneath it. Steele gathers, regains his feet. Looking for a gap. He's Steele beats two men, beats three men. Eventually brought down. Great run by John Steele. Rovers to the short side with Leroy Rivette. Rivette, oh, he almost broke through the tackle. Gets to his feet, plays it quickly. Fisher, Fisher goes for the gap, ducks his head. Unable to make inroads into the York defence where Webster's in possession. Short ball to Smith. Oh, there's, a good, there's going to be a score here. Goddard's going for the line, feeds Ford. Ford scores for the Robins. And that was quick hands, Michael Smith. James Webster eventually the ball went out to Byron Ford and Ford crosses for his second try of the game and Rovers extend the lead to 10 points to four. So Hasty to restart the game, he kicks it deep where James Webster gathers it in and he's going to bring in the, the rampage in Macaulay Azu. Azu's away! Macaulay Azu is stepping! Affords it to Paul Parker! Fantastic burst by Macaulay Azu. Interference by Hasty, but Rovers shipping the ball out wide to Scott Morell. There's an overlap now. Morell to Goddard. Goddard in field to Ford. Ford off Ford to Smith. Smith scores for the Robins. What a try. Right on the half time. Usa from one end of the pitch to the other. All started with Macaulay Azu going 40 metres. Quick play of the ball, Morell to Goddard, Goddard to Ford. Ford did exceptionally well. Infield to Smith, and Smith beat the last man and scored Ross's yeah, 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 try yeah, of the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Tanga to Towe, Tanga to Towe, drives that ball in. So Rovers will be looking for a fast start. It was an absolutely scorching break that led to Rovers' third try by Macaulay Azu. So hopefully we'll see Macaulay charging onto the ball as we will this man, Michael Smith. Look at the strength for the guy. On the offload to Fisher. Fantastic rugby league from Michael Smith. So Rovers now on the attack. Webster to Morell. Morell's got men on his inside. It's Macaulay. Macaulay about 19 metres out from the York City Knights try line. Webster to Smith. Smith. Oh, he was looking for Fisher. Just brought down Webster now. Short ball to Joseph. Joseph goes in underneath the post. And that's just the start that the Robins needed. Only a minute played in his second half. And Phil Joseph scores for the Robins. The midweek game, a rearranged Challenge Cup game, so they could well tire. There's Joseph. Joseph's away. Gives it to Morell. Morell's brought down by Hasty, but Rovers once again. Fisher on the short side. And York really struggling to get back now. There's Michael Smith. Smith goes. Offloads to Ford, and Ford's going to score. And Ford gets that down. It's his hat trick. Hat trick for Byron Ford, and Rovers are absolutely on fire. Couturier takes the tackle, but Rovers once again in that danger zone. Here's Webster, Macaulay Azu. Perhaps a better option would have been Parker, who was absolutely steaming up on his right hand side. Morell, short pass almost. Sell the dummy. Fifth and last. What's Ben Fisher got up his sleeve here? Gives it to Webster. 
Webster misses the man out. There's a chance now for Rivet. Floats the ball over. And I think John Steele's in at the corner. Oh, fantastic strength by John Steele. He still had a man to be, but he stretched out and grounds the ball in the corner. And Rovers are absolutely on fire here at Cleveland Park now. With a full set of tackles in front of them. Joseph to Smith. Smith across the park. Or infield to Tanga to Tower. He's brought down, but Rovers will look for Webster, they'll look for Morell. Here is Webster. Oh, he's done this as Webster! Oh, and he looked for Macaulay Azu, but he was held by Adam Sullivan. But here's Smith. Oh, Michael Smith scores a try. Just pure strength for the man. So Rovers to feed the scrum 30 metres out from the York City Knights line. Webster spins it out to Scott Morell. Morell's got options. He finds Goddard. Goddard straightens it up. Two men bring him down. Fisher switches the play to the short side where Smith feeds Parker. Parker beats the man almost. But Rovers are looking dangerous once again. Tanga Tatoa misses the man out. Webster. Chance. Oh, it was a good tackle by Farrell, but Couturier shows great strength. He's still going, is the Frenchman. He's, well, he's got. And he offloads as well. And Rivet, he offloads, and Rovers keeping this ball alive. Morel, Morel almost breaks through. Well, comedy there. Couturier looks as though he's taken a bit of an ankle knock. Tangata Tower will straighten this one up. He's. Looking where he's looking, a ball handler now is Sanga to Tower. Webster, man on his inside, shows the ball, dummies, takes three men to stop him. Eventually brought to ground, it's the fifth and last against the Robins. Will they spin the ball out? Morell looks for the corner. Byron Ford strong, and Byron Ford scores his fourth try of the game. Sullivan was in there. Here's Tangatatoa. He's looking for work. Is this man Tangatatoa? He's had a very. Oh, and he's offloaded as well. Fantastic. Ben Fisher makes an extra 10 metres from the Tangatatoa offload. Here's that man Smith. He's enjoying it out there. Look at the man. Oh, look at that. Baron Ford. He's going round the outside. Chance now. Ben Fisher. Fisher's gone for the line. And Fisher scores for the Robins! Michael Smith set up the play. Baron Ford showed superb speed. And the man in support was Ben Fisher. And Fisher scores for the Robins. So Rovers will form this scrum 27 metres from the York City Knights trial line. Webster will be looking for Morell. But can see Leroy Rivet joining the line as well. Morell jinx. Offloads to Goddard. Oh, there was. A gap for a second. Morel to Baron Ford. Ford pins his ears back. And Baron Ford scores another try. Five tries for Baron Ford in the same game. He signals five tries. And well, Baron Ford's been absolutely unstoppable today. And the try scored for Hulk Winston Rovers, sponsored by the Rovers Supporters Group. And his fifth try of the afternoon, number five, Byron Ford. So here we'll go Fisher again. Out to Webster, will he take on the line? No, it passes it. Passes it to Stevenson. Decent tackle. Nearly got the ball away again. They're always looking for that offload though, aren't they? Fisher again. Webster, there's, yeah, Morel, is he there? Ooh, good tackling there. From Paul Pickering, low down. Fisher, oh, oh all on again. Goddard, will he pass it? Oh, Baron Ford's got to be in. He's got to be in here, and he is. Good there for Baron Ford, but quick hands from Goddard to set up the try. Yeah, the opening try of the game goes to who else but Baron Ford over in the left-hand corner. Fantastic start by the Robins. 
Fisher now. He's got options. He's got Webster right. He's got Stevenson left. He ships it out to Morell instead. Morell to Smith. Smith stepping. Oh, they just managed to bring him down. It was Andy Smith with the ankle tap. But Rovers now. Four metres out. Morell. Morell. He's offloaded. There should be a score now for Byron Ford. And I think the try is going to be awarded. Byron Ford's in once again. Well, every time we seem to give the ball to Byron Ford, he seems to score a try. So Fisher now feeds Stevenson. Stevenson, surprise, Price with the offload. So there's a chance now as Michael Smith in possession. Offload to Goddard. Goddard's got options. Gives it to Morell. Morell. Morell's going. Gives it to Goddard. Goddard to Ford. And Ford scores. Oh, what a try by the Robins. And it's a hat trick for Byron Ford. What a try by Old Kingston Rovers. 17 minute hat trick for Byron Ford. And well, it was all about the support player then. Fisher, Fisher just seems to get Rovers' attacks moving that little bit quicker, doesn't he, Clark? He's, he's just got that extra bit of quality at the play of the ball. Well, yeah, he was one of those uh, standout players that you saw for Halifax last year, and one of those, uh, one of those players that, you know couldn't uh, make the choice to go left or right fairly quickly and there's a 40-20 coming from Scott Morell and that should be a 40-20 to the Robins we're all high-fiving high -fiving my Morell yeah look, look at that we're all there to congratulate him it's as if he scored a try but we're both taking a little bit of punishment there Fisher scoops off gives it to Morrison Morrison goes for that line Rovers are only three metres out Fisher Gives it to Webster, Webster to Morell, Morell forced to check, offloads, well shows the ball, still going is Morell, forced to take the tackle. So Goddard, oh it's the first one for Macaulay as so there's his sad step, he's still going, oh nearly got the offload, but eight metres out, Fisher passes it to Webber, up to Price, that's the first time Price had the ball to be honest, it's the last tackle, so will it be Morell or Webber with the kick, it's off to Morell. Oh, it's a nice little dink. Oh, and it's Morrison with the try. He deserves that for the amount of effort he's put into this first half. Yeah, possibly a hint of offside, Clark, maybe. But, uh, but certainly the referee and the touch judges seemed happy. And we're happy, so 20 points to nil to the Robins. We just need to be careful with that last pass. Not, not to do anything silly, just to make sure we keep the ball. So Gallagher now, out the scrum, passes it to Morell. Oh, oh. Well, that's gone backwards, says the referee. We won't argue with him on that fact. And Morrison takes... Oh, sorry, Goddard takes the tackle. And Fisher. And Morell taking the step. Oh, Bowen Ford. We'll do the in and out. Will he get there? He will. He will. Bowen Ford with the fourth try of the afternoon. After about 27 minutes. But one thing, I don't think Damien Couture is going to thank him. He's been scoring them from all out wide. Baron Ford is, is just unstoppable. That's Nan tries in one and a half games. Yeah, Rovers will go for tries with this lead and this field position. Michali Azu runs into a good solid tackle by Andy Smith. He's not lost his tackling ability, hasn't Andy Smith? Webs the short ball to Morrison. Morrison straightens it up. He seems to be heading underneath the sticks, but they just managed to cling on to him. Fisher ships it to the right hand side where Webster in field to, I think it's Gallagher. And Gallagher scores for the Robins. Tommy Gallagher with the Rovers' sixth try of the game. So Rovers now 10 metres from the opposition line. Gallagher to Morell. Will we see a gap this time? No, it's Damien Couturier. Will he reach? He has done. Straight under the posts to make it an easy conversion for himself. And what a lovely pass from, I think, Scott Morell. And what a great start to the second half with only, what, a minute and a half gone. The fifth and last against the Robins. We need a quick play of the ball. They need to move it right across the line. Morell, well, he's kicked. Oh, and it's gone straight to Alice for McLaren. McLaren's away. Well, Macaulay Azu. Oh, Macaulay Azu brings it down. Oh, what a tackle by Macaulay Azu. And John steals away for the Robins. 
and the fans they love that it looked as though McLaren was going to go 70 metres and Michali has who nailed him tackle because Andy A kicked out in that last in the last uh, tackle between the two and he kicked Michali as who right in the chest the referee didn't do a thing you know, play goes on Joseph with a short ball to Tangard's tower he offloads and that's gone back from Morelli shows the ball he's done his he's away he's got a man on his inside oh there's a try now for Goddard Goddard's going in underneath the sticks and Scott Morell just shows his class once again Here come the Robins once again. Stevenson shows the ball, takes it up to Rovers. 30 metres out from the Eagles line. Needs a bit of magic from Webster or Morello. The short ball, Tangela Toe. Goes through offloads to Morell. Morell scores! Morell scores for the Robins! And he even goes underneath the sticks. And, and there's the coupon winner. Oh, fantastic, kept the ball alive on the fifth tackle. Great offload by David Tangelatoa. And Morel scores, and uh, well, it's 50 points for the Robins.
next week.